Good evening, and from the united benefice of Holy Innocents and St Mark in South Norwood, welcome to our evening prayer on Wednesday 20th of May in this Easter season. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Your throne has been established from of old. You are from everlasting. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord of heaven and earth. To you be glory and praise for ever. From the darkness of death you have raised your Christ to the right hand of your majesty on high. The pioneer of our faith, his passion accomplished, has opened for us the way to heaven and sends on us the promised spirit. May we be ready to follow the way and so be brought to the glory of his presence, where songs of triumph for ever sound. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and for ever. Amen. The appointed psalm for this evening is Psalm 15. The refrain is, Through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. Through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. Lord, who may dwell in your tabernacle, who may rest upon your holy hill, whoever leads an uncorrupt life and does the thing that is right, who speaks the truth from the heart and bears no deceit on the tongue, who does no evil to a friend and pours no scorn on the neighbour, in whose sight the wicked are not esteemed, but who honours those who fear the Lord. Whoever has sworn to a neighbour and never goes back on that word, who does not lend money in hope of gain, nor takes a bribe against the innocent, whoever does these things shall never fail. Through the greatness of your mercy I will come into your house. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Lord, lead us to our heavenly home by single steps of self-restraint and deeds of righteousness through the grace of Jesus Christ our Lord. The Canticle The refrain is the Spirit of the Father who raised Christ Jesus from the dead, gives life to the people of God. Alleluia. The Spirit of the Father, who raised Christ Jesus from the dead, gives life to the people of God. Alleluia. The law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For we have received the Spirit that enables us to cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness that we are children of God. And if God's children, then heirs of God. If heirs of God, then fellow heirs with Christ. Since we suffer with him now, that we may be glorified with him. These sufferings that we now endure are not worth comparing to the glory that shall be revealed. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The Spirit of the Father who raised Christ Jesus from the dead gives life to the people of God. Alleluia. The reading for this morning is from the letter to the Colossians, 
chapter 2, verse 20, to chapter 3, verse 4. If with Christ you died to the elemental spirits of the universe, why do you live as if you still belonged to the world? Why do you submit to regulations? Do not handle, do not taste, do not touch. All these regulations refer to things that perish with use. They are simply human commands and teachings. These have indeed an appearance of wisdom in promoting self-imposed piety, humility and severe treatment of the body, but they are of no value in checking self-indulgence. So, if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth, for you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Responsory Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Tell out his salvation from day to day. God has gone up with a merry noise. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. The Lord with the sound of the trumpet. Tell out his salvation from day to day. He has led captivity captive and given gifts to his people. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Tell out his salvation from day to day. The Gospel Canticle, the Magnificat, the Song of Mary. The refrain is, I have made your name known to those you have given me, and now I pray for them, for I am coming to you. Alleluia. I have made your name known to those you have given me, and now I pray for them, for I am coming to you. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors to Abraham and his children for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I have made your name known to those you have given me, and now I pray for them, for I am coming to you. Alleluia. And now we come to our time of prayer as we thank God for this day that has gone before us. And we pray for all people that they may acknowledge the kingdom of the ascended Christ. And we pray for those who wait on God that they may find renewal. Dear God, we come to you at the ending of the day with thankful hearts to commit ourselves and those we love to your care and protection for the coming night. Lift from our minds every burden, every anxiety, every fear, and in your great mercy give us sleep and rest to fit us for the duties of another day through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Teach us, O oh God, to view our life here on earth as a pilgrim's path to heaven, 
and give us grace to tread it courageously in the company of your faithful people. Help us to set our affections on the things above, not on the passing vanities of this world, and grant that as we journey on in the way of holiness, we may bear a good witness to our Lord and serve all who need our help along the way for the glory of your name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for the varied talents you have given to your children, to some the gift of music or painting, to others of writing or athletic skills. Above all, we thank you for the greater gifts of understanding, sympathy and friendship, which can help bring help and happiness to others. At this time of lockdown, show each of us what are your special gifts to us and enable us to use them for your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks, Lord, for all that are helping us through this crisis as we work together. We pray for the health workers tending the seriously ill, for the scientists working on a vaccination, for the researchers analysing data and identifying trends, for media outlets working to communicate reality, for the supermarket workers, hygiene and sanitation providers, and for the good news of stories of recoveries and effective planning. For the recognition that isolation doesn't need to mean loneliness. For the notes through letterboxes offering help and support. For the internet and telephones and technology that connects each one of us together. And for the awakened appreciation of what is truly important. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are unwell at this time, whether from COVID-19 or for other reasons. We pray for those who are suffering in body, mind and spirit. And in this Mental Health Awareness Week, we pray especially for those who are feeling depressed and those whose mental health conditions have been exacerbated by being isolated. We pray for those who are unwell and concerned for loved ones, for those who are already anxious, for those immune suppressed or compromised, for those who are vulnerable because of underlying conditions and for those in the most at-risk categories. For those watching their entire income stream dry up. For those who have no choice but to go to work. For those who are afraid to be at home. For those who are more lonely than they have ever been. We pray particularly for those who are bereaved and grieving. Lord, be their healer, comfort and protection their strength, shield and provision, be their security, safety and a close companion. And raise up your church to be present to the pain, to respond with love in action, even from a safe distance. Lord, we pray for those who are on our hearts, who are unwell at this time, and we pray by name, as we bring before you those on our prayer lists at Holy Innocence and St Mark who need our special prayers. We pray for Enid, Alec, Una, Helen, Linda, Ruth, Diane, Mick, Jennifer and Reuben, Ted, Marie, Gabrielle. We pray Lord, for those who have been bereaved at this time, thinking of them in their sorrow and sadness. For the bereaved families, the Forbes, Ladit, Baines, Corbin, Messer and Scorgi, 
Angus and Hollyoke families. Lord, enfold them all in your healing and strength. Comfort them, bring them hope, pray for those who care for them, that they may be uplifted in your peace and strengthened in the love that only you can give them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for all those who have passed into the greater glory of God the Father. As we pray for the repose of the souls of Maggie, Ruth, Roy, Verna, Ron, Sharon and Don. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We gather our prayers together as we pray the collect for this day. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we in heart and mind may also ascend and with him continually dwell who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And we say together the Lord's Prayer, looking for the coming of his kingdom, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. So as we draw our evening prayer to a close, I'm reminded to join Mother Roxanne tomorrow morning at nine o'clock as she leads morning prayer. And we close now. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May God grant you a safe and peaceful evening and night. Amen. <laughs>